Welcome, Welcome to China, China Talk. Talk. It's DK, and I'm here with the one and only Luke Smith, and we are here yet again to break down another Tuesday Trainer Talk. Today we're going to talk about mobility. Mobility is the best ability, y'all. All right, so we got to keep it long. We got to keep it lengthened. If you're going to strengthen, you got to lengthen. I like you know that. what I mean? Sounds good. All right, we're getting real quippy <laughs> off the top of the show today. So that I think that's that's really important, and obviously I've been a person who has been a professional athlete your whole life and well, an athlete and made it to uh, the professional ranks. And so I'm putting my body through like a lot of stress. Luke played college basketball, Appalachian State. So, you know, we are, we are putting our bodies intentionally in a position to go through stress and trauma and likely get injured. I mean, if you're an athlete, right, and you've been an athlete for, let's say, a serious athlete for a couple years or more, you're getting injured. Like it's not about eliminating injury. It's about minimizing the possibility of injury. And that's really what safety is. And so like if you're like burn boot camp is one of the hardest workouts in the country. It's like if you are you going to are you you have to step into this knowing that there is a likelihood that over a five year period you're gonna have one, two, or three injuries or ailments. There's very few times when there's people that do not, and that seems to be random. Right, but then if you take them ten years, it's there's almost nobody, right, that can make it ten years without you know tweaking a calf or rolling an ankle. I've had two knee surgeries because of a, the same thing I'm talking about with my pitching motion. I'm putting hundreds of pounds of pressure onto my left knee every time that I throw a pitch, and I have cleats in the bottom of my shoe. So when I land and I twist and I put pressure, it's just ripping and torquing my knee apart with hundreds of pounds of pressure more than any one human body part supposed to be able to take. Well, in the gym, we're not putting cleated shoes into dirt and then twisting. We have this beautiful thing called the floating floor that's like a magic carpet, uh, like a cloud, if you will, that absorbs the shock when you land on it to help minimize the possibility of injury. Okay, but there still is that possibility. And so one, when we talk about mobility, we're just talking about minimizing the possibility of injury. We're not talking about eliminating it. And you're, you have a higher propensity of it for injury if you have an injury previously, right? So if my left knee has had two scopes on it, I don't have a left, lat, uh, medial, left lateral meniscus, well, then I need to really make sure I'm lengthened around my gastrocnemius, around my soleus, around my perennial muscles, that's the front of the calf, around my, um, my, uh, my quad complex, around my hamstring complex. I need to make sure that my IT band uh, is really loose and that it's foam rolled out and that there's not any extra swelling or inflammation sitting on that because that's gonna impact my, my knee. And so um, I, I regress, but um, I'm, just, I'm just really wanting to emphasize the mobility aspect of all of this because mobility to me truly is the best ability and I'm learning more and more about that as I'm now 35 and I have these injuries from when I was 16, 18, 22, uh, really coming to start to creep back a little bit. Uh, it's it's triggered my brain to say, hey, back to recovery mode, DK. So me and your CEO, Morgan, we are like, we, we're in one of those sprinting times right now where, you know, we always are healthy people, but we don't execute at 100% of the time all the time. It's usually like, hey, if we're executing at 85%, we, we feel that that's progress and that's a good standard as a philosophy for, life, right? But there are times when we're going to say, hey, are you ready? We're sprinting for two months. And so Morgan right now, um, Morgan usually needs information from a doctor to tell her that something's wrong. So she goes to a lot of homeopathic doctors and wellness doctors and kind of like Western medicine type doctors. And when they tell her something's wrong, it's like she kicks it into full on, like Morgan is the most disciplined human I've ever met mode. And, it's, and I, I try to keep up with her, but it's really inspiring for me because when she's on something and she goes to 100%, bro, I'm telling you, there's no, it's, it does what she says she's going to do and she says she's going to do it. And then she fixes the problem. And then we can, then we go back to the 85% of, of, of life and, you know, having those times yeah. where you don't have to be so stringent, but um, there are times you do because my knee hurts right now. So I got to lengthen, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd say I'd have that same thing with uh, my shoulders too. I know that if I'm doing my rehabilitation stuff on my rotator cuff, I can keep my shoulders, I can get to where I can 
get, get my bicep to my ear, but if I haven't been doing it, then I struggle to even get my right arm up overhead from I broke my collarbone. Mm. So it's limited range of motion in my shoulder for since I was like in sixth or seventh grade. Yeah. So, I mean, just like you're talking about, it's, it's good up until you get hurt, then you gotta take the pathway to fix it. Because you don't, you're not thankful for it until you don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think the, yeah, I think the punchline here, guys, is that this should be just as hard as your workout in terms of the mental challenge, right? Like stretching should be painful in a sense. Um, you know, I don't want it to be jerky. We're not jerking our body around. I want us to really make sure that we're smooth right through the uh, different lengthening exercises. And you guys can find lengthening exercises. You don't need us to sit here and show you how to do lengthening exercises right now. You can go find them. I just want to talk to you about the intensity and the and the intentionality that you put forward to mobility is the same intensity and intentionality that you put forward to strengthening, all right? Strengthening is supplemented by lengthening and lengthening is supplemented by strengthening. The two have a really... Um, har harmonious blend with one another that when you're doing them, you're uh, both you're you're in hype, hy uh, you're in hypertrophy when you're training, and you're in you're in real lengthening. I'm like talking about holding it for extended periods of time, flexing and breathing for extended periods of time, where you actually feel your body getting lengthened, like you actually are markedly going from your, you know, fingertips to the first 30 seconds to holding the last 30 seconds at your wrist. Now you're gonna to start to make changes and those changes are gonna manifest in the form of recovery and, and less injuries and keeping you on the floor for more games. And that's what we all want because if we're injured, we're on the sideline. We're not making gains if we're sitting on the sideline and we're injured um, and we're definitely not going to age well. Like it doesn't, you don't age well unless you recover, unless you recover and, you, and you're mobile. So for if nothing else, uh, strengthening and building muscle and then lengthening and reco to recover that muscle, those are the two important elements to longevity. And around here, we're always trying to teach you how to live into your 80s, into your 90s. And, you know, that doesn't just happen because you want to. You know, being on, you know, not needing a wheelchair when you're 87 doesn't just happen because you don't want to be in that position. It happens that that outcome happens when you do all the necessary things right now today. Eat the calories, do the recovery, get the sleep, do the workouts. All of that's going to happen when you take care of your body as a temple now and every day until you get to that point. You will not end up there unless you design to be ended up there. You know what I mean? Couldn't agree more. I'm trying to be. A, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be on the mic at 90. <laughs> still doing guest appearances. Who do you think you want to be on the mic when you're 90? Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not 90. <laughs> I'd be. I'd be. I'd be well, I guess if I'm not stretching now, I might be in my wheelchair where I can around <laughs> with the mic. Maybe on. we'll own a baseball team by then. Maybe we'll own the Giants by then. And maybe you're like, yeah. Maybe we're just. Uh, Maybe you're in the C-suite at the Giants at that point. Yeah, chill, knows? chilling. Who knows? That, that doesn't sound like a bad gig either. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you all being here. Hopefully, you now know mobility is the best ability you can have. Let's take it seriously. Let's stay in it. Let's make it difficult so that we know that we're making gains. All right, and uh, let's do it in all planes of motion, the frontal, the sagittal, the transverse plane. Let's make sure we're lengthening in every plane of motion. Make sense? Say yes. All right, y'all. Make sure you uh, flex in on that subscribe button. We're on YouTube as well for the visuals. In case you're a visual person, you can check out Luke and I on YouTube, but you know we're always on the podcast. Flex on that subscribe button, leave us a review. Luke, take us out, two claps on two. Two claps on two, one, two.